Okay, we want to bring you this breaking news, another update from LA County Health Department officials. She had extensive travel over the past month, including a long layover in South Korea. We extend our deepest condolences to her family and her okay, friends. Okay, and the doctor there uh, announcing the really first sorry. coronavirus death in LA County. Today. We're also reporting six additional positive cases. We have three people who are household contacts of a previously confirmed case of an LA, resident, LA County resident. One of those people is hospitalized. Uh, we have one person who was, uh, who's an LA County resident who was traveling internationally in France and returned home ill. Uh, we have one resident who traveled to a religious conference in another state and was a close contact of a person at that conference who subsequently tested positive uh, for COVID-19. And we have one resident with no known travel or close contact exposure who we presume is our second case of community acquired infection. And that person is also hospitalized. So at this point in time, the total confirmed cases for LA County are the 24 cases we reported and the three cases that were announced by the Long Beach Public Health Department. I want to remind everyone that we are saddened uh, by our first death. Uh, we want everyone to understand that uh, COVID-19 could cause serious illness, particularly for people who are elderly and people who have underlying health conditions uh, and pregnant women. So we want to, as a reminder, ask that you all do your part to help take care of those people that are most vulnerable. And right now, our advice remains uh, pretty, pretty similar to our advice over the past two weeks. Uh, if you're sick, it's more important than ever that you are not exposing other people to your illness. Uh, it is also really important if you're a person who is older and you have uh, underlying health conditions or you have uh, a serious uh, immune compromised system or you're a pregnant woman uh, or you're just aging. This is the time to avoid all non-essential travel. This is the time to stop going to events where there are large groups of people gathering. This is the time to stop going to the theater or concerts or sporting events. Uh, we're reporting 24 cases, but we all know that there are more cases in our community that have yet to be diagnosed. And we need everyone to help us try to slow the spread of this infection. This is not something that one person can do by themselves, that a health department can do by themselves. Uh, this is an ask of all of you. You know, please join with us. Take the steps you need to take today. Protect your health. Protect the health of everyone else in our community. Uh, we will be asking uh, all of our businesses, uh, all of our event venues uh, to put in place the plans that they need to have should we continue to see an acceleration of community transmission that calls for more social distancing. Uh, more social distancing could mean uh, going to spectator free, uh, free uh, sporting events. Uh, it can certainly mean canceling large events uh, throughout LA County. And while we're not there yet, we do need to get prepared uh, for the eventuality that we will see many more cases. And because of that, we will need to all do a lot more social distancing. I like to say that when you don't have a vaccination uh, that allows you to protect yourself and also protect others who may be more vulnerable for serious disease, the next best tool we have in our hands is social distancing. It accomplishes the same thing, uh, although it's less effective. It actually allows people not to be in close contact with each other in hopes that that slows down the spread of an infectious disease. Uh, we are very hopeful uh, that our healthcare system can continue to provide all of the services uh, to everyone who needs care, but that means not overloading the healthcare system. And uh, there's two asks there. What is, again, do the social distancing and stay home when you're sick so that you're not, in fact, spreading uh, infection? 
And the other is that you please call ahead and speak with your provider before you go in to see a provider and particularly before you go into a hospital. Uh, our emergency rooms are uh, for people with emergencies and let's make sure that our emergency rooms continue to have capacity to treat everyone who is there because they have an emergency. Uh, I'll open up for questions now. Doctor, on the convalescent homes, Doctor, on, on the convalescent homes, you mentioned the elderly. You're having the, uh, you're, you're having the inspections. Can you tell us, are you at the point now where those people there are safe? Should people who have loved ones in there be more concerned? Should they take them out? And are you anywhere near, I know there's a lot of questions, are you, are you anywhere near saying to those people, sure. no visitors, leave them alone? Yeah. Um, so where we are is we are working, as you know, we're, we're giving everyone technical assistance. Those are our skilled nursing homes and our long-term care facilities where people are already ill for the most part. And yes, we are working uh, to make sure they have good infection control processes in place. We're also working really hard uh, to assess at what point uh, do they need to completely limit visitors. I will say right now the big plea is that they institute policies that all employees and visitors coming in to the facilities uh, do a self-screen to assure that they're not coming in with any kind of illness or respiratory symptoms. Respiratory illness symptoms. Right here. Can you tell us more about the woman who died? Underlying health the woman who died did unfortunately have underlying health conditions. Sure. There are 24 cases that we have reported and three cases that were announced by Long Beach. So the total right now for LA County is 27 cases. That's including the woman who died? That's included. Yes, it is. Okay, in the back and then right here. Where did this death occur? Was it in Los Angeles County? And secondly, San Francisco is banning all gatherings more than 1,000 people, and you said. We're not there yet, why not here? Yes, it's a, it's a great question. Let me start with the, the first question. The person was visiting uh, and she was hospitalized and so, uh, shortly after being hospitalized, she unfortunately passed. Here in Ella County. That's why we're reporting it. But she's not from here. But she's not from here. She's not a resident here. And the thing about the, uh, uh, San Francisco. Sure. Hearts, you said yes. we're not here yet. Yeah. Well, we actually have, have uh, have developed a tool that we use that assesses risk based on how much uh, community transmission we're seeing and how much, uh, what the acceleration is in terms of the number of positive cases. 